So you want to know what a recording setup looks like? Well, we're going to show you. But first, like and subscribe. So we're basically going to cut to the chase here. We're not going to like slow you down or anything. So here's a Dell 24 inch monitor, 60 hertz. The actual name of it will be on screen. I'm not going to name it. I, I'm, I'm terrible at names. This is the most color accurate monitor for around 200 euros. It's better because uh, it, it uses nearly all the color spectrum, which is good for editing. And then there's our PC. This is the editing PC. 5500XC. This is the 8 gigabyte model. This is the F XFX one. Then there's a Ryzen 7 3700X. 8 cores, 16 threads. It's pretty fast for gaming and editing and all that kind of shit. Next we have Corsair RAM. This is 3200 megahertz, 3200 megahertz, 32, no, 30, 32 gigabytes. We are thinking of getting an extra 32, but prices are a bit high now. So we're gonna wait for that. Then we have a Crucial P2 M.2, 500 gigabytes, but we are getting a Western Digital SN850, 7000 megabytes per second read speed, and one terabyte, so it's gonna be pretty fast. It's Gen 4 as well. We're Gen 5 motherboard, not Gen 4 motherboard, B550. It's pretty good, Gen 4 PCIe and M.2. Then our power supply is a Corsair 1, 550 watts, which you are gonna to wanna to upgrade when you get like newer GPU. H510, it's actually pretty cool now, but we did um, put on power saver mode to reduce the noise, but it, it's a fine case. It's okay, it works. The stock cooler is the average stock cooler. It gets pretty loud and full, like, it's really annoying compared to like AIO. I haven't really witnessed an air cooler other than the stealth one. But yeah, it's pretty loud. This PC does use a TP like USB thing right here. But we are planning to get a and no a PCIe Wi-Fi card. We can't really do internet because the ether core is like all the way downstairs. I have one in my house though. 25 meters. I have a bunch of it. But like it is really annoying. The door is closing on it, so it's slowly cutting it away. So it's a bit annoying. You have to drill holes if you only have an Ethernet cord. The speakers are Swiss Sonic MM3. They're perfect for us because there's two of them. Yeah, they're pretty good. And then the speakers feed into this audio mixer by T-Mix. Uh, there's a lot of dials and no idea what it means because I know nothing about it. This is also the separate USB hub here. Um, not really sure. Oh, you, could, you could get a PCIe one. We did a TikTok about PCIe one. Haha. <laughs> Haha. 80k views. Was not expecting that one. Literally, I use three. They're like, how? Oh, Use yeah, it's pretty good. It, it's good if you like don't if your computer's far away, and it also reduces cables. So it's good having a uh, more one that's away from your computer. This is also the RK84. This is the keyboard. It's white. It does get dirty a lot. Uh, he did clean recently because I can't really see that much dust. It weighs about near close to a pound. But yeah, it's a pretty good keyboard. Then Logic G G no G604. Yeah, it has 13 buttons as well as. That thing. Not sure why I haven't done a video when we tried to like break stuff using this. Not sure why I ever did that. We will do that though. And this is a generic USB 3.0 reader with a SD card inside of it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Then we have an Amazon Basics mouse pad with a gel wrist rest, which is good because like if, if you're editing, your arm is gonna get wrist from moving around the mouse a bunch of times. So it's a good thing, especially if you're on the computer for long durations of time for work. Then the desk is from Ikea. This is the Mickey. Yes, YouTube is the Mickey. Don't ban us for that. Lights are generic Chinese soft boxes. They've, they've just got them. They're, they work fine. Lights bright. One that sometimes doesn't get too bright, but I think I've just gotten used to it now. Then the microphone we have is a Rode video mic, which is attached to an amazing DIY contraption, which we pretty much made out of a, US, um, a GoPro arm, a tripod, and a, a thread expander. It, it works. Instead of paying 60 euros, we paid 15 and had stuff lying around the place. And then we have our tripod. We have the Manfrotto 390 and the Junior Edition. Can't really tell the difference looking at it. Only the tops are different, but they're probably in mount. Then the camera here is a Lumix GH5 Mark II. 4K 60 FPS, 1080p at 180 FPS, and can also do 8K, no, 8K? 6, 6K. It's a good camera. We'll be doing a video on that soon. Then the lens is a Lumix G12 to 60 millimeter. F 2.5 to 5.6. I'm reading off the script because I don't even know half of the stuff. I might as well just pull off the script because I already told you. Anyway. Then the headphones are Audio Tactical ATH M50X. Right here. So basically, when I'm talking, Robert can hear it. And if I stutter or anything like that, he'll be like. So they're pretty good. Anyway, that is pretty much our recording setup. Also, we have a bunch of blankets on the floor because the guy who tied the comment, our sound quality was bad. So thanks to you, we just spent like 10 minutes every time we want to record videos. 
put blankets on the floor. We have a we have pillows attached to the roof. Thank you, guy who commented. We can't even find your comment now. Did you delete it? You probably did. We were gonna tag you or mention you inside of a TikTok video that we did. We couldn't find your name. Anyway, that's all from the setup review. Uh, yeah, obviously there will be improvements if YouTube does decide to pay us for money. We need to get a 1K subscribers though. So make sure you subscribe so we can get the 1K subscribers and get paid and start spending a bunch of money on random tech stuff. Like if you want to go to Amazon, find five, five euro stuff and say, oh, we've got 10,000 views, we can easily pay for that. Like, subscribe.